Myeloma kidney disease is a relatively common complication of myeloma. Two out of every ten patients at diagnosis have kidney damage because of their myeloma, and a further four out of ten patients may develop kidney problems later on. We each have two kidneys that are located just below the rib cage on either side of the spine. Their main job is to remove waste products from the blood. This is done by the many thousands of filtering systems called nephrons. Damage to the nephrons prevents them from removing waste products efficiently and can cause serious illness. There are many causes of myeloma kidney disease. The most common is the damage caused by too many free light chains. Free light chains are the unattached portions of the abnormal antibody or paraprotein that are produced by the myeloma cells. Normally, they are filtered through the nephron and removed when taken up by the cells that line the tubules. However, sometimes the amount of free light chains can overcome the ability of the tubules to remove them and instead they cause blockages further along the nephron. These blockages stop the nephrons from working properly and can cause severe kidney damage. Other possible causes of myeloma kidney disease include high calcium levels in the blood because of myeloma bone disease, dehydration, urinary tract infection, and certain drugs such as bisphosphonates, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory painkillers, antibiotics, and some anti-myeloma treatments.